Alan Kure here at EOP, and I will be talking about the AP Environmental Science exam. First, let's talk about the topics covered in the exam. We have the Earth Systems and Resources, about 10 to 15 percent, the Living World, 10 to 15 percent, Population, Land and Water Use, Energy Resources and Consumption, Pollution, uh, for Pollution, it's 25 to 30 percent, so ma ma make sure that you study that well. As, as well as the rest of the, of the topics. Uh, and the last topic is global change. And don't forget to, uh, to review the labs in the, the class as well. What does the exam look like? Well, the, 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 the exam is three hours long. Uh, it is split into two, 90, 90 uh, minutes per half. On the first half, you have to complete the 100 mo uh, multiple choice questions. On the second half, you have to answer four free response or essay questions. The first part, the multiple choice section, again, you have 90 minutes to answer 100 questions. So about 30 of those questions will be matching. About 70 questions will be in regular multiple choice form. Some questions will be simple recall questions. Others will require inter interpreting information, analyzing graphs, evaluating a situation. So it's not just about being able to memorize definitions. You, you should also be able to read and analyze uh, a given plot or graph. The second part, free response section, you have 90 minutes to answer all four questions. That's about 22 minutes per, per question, so may, make sure to pace yourself correspondingly. And answers can and should include information from other subjects such as biology, chemistry, physics, government, etc. Anything that will help you carry your point across better. Rating of the exam. Um, the multiple choice portion will be worth 60% of your final score. The, the free response section is worth 40%. In the multiple choice um, section, uh, you, you get one point for every correct answer, and you get zero points for incorrect or blanks. Again, for incorrect answers, you get a zero. You are not penalized. So it is okay to guess. Um, just make sure that you use process of elimination to try to increase your chances of getting an extra point. Uh, in the free response section, each essay scored on a scale from 0 to 10. 10 they demonstrate a clear and thorough knowledge of the material and include a superb response to all parts of the question. 9 they are almost like a 10, but you have some sloppy work there, so you were stuck to the point. Sevens and eights, they do not give a, a satisfying uh, answer to a portion of the question. Threes, fours, and fives, they are not um, satisfying enough for the questions. And satisfactory response for more than one part. And that's about the AP Environmental Science exam.